Hey guys, I'm Vignesh. Now I'm going to show you the review of the Motion Room on Samsung Galaxy Grand 2. Actually, the Motion Room is the full Galaxy S5 mini port developed by the developer Apple. Here you can see from the Motion app that the developer is main developer is Apple, and they are and some others are the some bug fixers and some real fixers. And here you can see the down delete this app. It will make you go to And these are the preloaded apps in this row. UC Mini and Screen Recorder, that's all. All other apps are pre-installed. Let me go to the settings first. This is the settings from Galaxy S5 Mini. Here you can see the display thing. And brightness. So in display brightness, some FCs are there. But here, no, nothing. Here you can see toolbox, private mode, and everything is here. And motions and gestures. Here you can see the battery. I have installed this ROM yesterday and it didn't uh, do nothing like gaming and anything. I don't know how to tell the battery performance. You can see from here. And here you can see S voice and everything. Let me go to the notification dryer. Uh, here you can see the S finder and quick connector in notification dryer. And the brightness and slider. And here you can see the toolbox and power setting and everything, including private mode, test sensitivity. Let me explore the toolbox. In toolbox we have S Finder and then this one is the Quick Connect. I don't know how to use Quick Connect for editing. And here is the flashlight and uh, here is the screenshot. Toolbox is uh, like uh, how what is it? It's like an air, air command. And this zoom option, I don't know how wha what I don't know for what. Here you can see the notifications are white like no lollipop because this is a lollipop. Oh, pure lollipop. Highly debloated. Here you can see the for Samsung Galaxy S5 Mini. Here you can see the messages. No messaging bug. Yesterday I message received because I sent it and uh, no problem in messaging. And here you can see the three dot menu. Here we have Galaxy Sensio side apps and everything. But Galaxy Sensio is not installed, so it won't work. And here you see the music. Here is the music player, it's like Galaxy S5 Mini and uh, here you can see the video player and here you can see the clock well clock, air clock is different from Galaxy S6 in next video I will show you the review of Galaxy S6 ROM on Samsung Galaxy Aditya room and here you can see the gallery this is the gallery and I have taken screenshots and 
there is a Samsung studio attached in this room so you can edit this photo using Samsung studio so you can see Samsung studio and here you can see the voice recorder and uh, here you can see email calculator planner and maybe youtube is pre-installed and gmail also pre-installed here you can see my files here you can see the recent tabs it's like lollipop because it is lollipop here is the task manager I will tell you the I will show you the review of this room, so don't worry. I had on it today. It is a super cool. And here is a smart manager. And here is a Samsung Wi-Fi. That's over for the review, guys. Oh, that's about the main thing that's camera. Here, you can see the camera. This is the stock camera of Samsung Galaxy S5 Mini. And here, you can see the settings. In the front, in the back camera, we can adjust the picture resolution. But in the front camera, but in the front camera, if you adjust the picture resolution, that is from 0 0.9 to 2 0.1, that is 16 to 9 ratio, it will force close. Let me show you. To eliminate this, uh, there is no option. We need to go to App Info. You need to go to App Info for that and to clear data from that. You can use Google Camera, I think. Then clear data. Then if you go into the app, it will show you installments. Yes. And that's it for the review, guys. Do like, do come, do subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.